spells in the darkness of this place. But I've got to continue. I finally feel a sense of purpose again. Like I'm doing what I was meant to do. Some kind of marker. The journey will be perilous. Please welcome game director for Crystal Dynamics for Rise of the Tomb Raider, Brian Horton. Hi everyone. My name is Brian Horton. I'm the game director on Tomb Raider. Yesterday at the Microsoft press briefing, we shared our gameplay world premiere for Rise of the Tomb Raider. Because Tomb Raider is all about Lara and her journey, we always want to make her feel as human and believable as possible. Today, we'll share some of the techniques that we use to achieve things that were simply weren't possible until now. In this exclusive behind the scenes look filmed at our studio, you'll hear from some of the talented people who bring Lara to life. In Rise of the Tomb Raider, our goal is to create the most believable characters in games. The talented artists and animators at Crystal Dynamics have built Lara from the ground up to realize this vision. Part of creating the most realistic character that we possibly can are things like details now. So pores on the skin, we're talking about eyelashes down to finite things where snowflakes will land on that eyelash. I mean, things that really get into the nitty gritty of what makes something feel very tangible. It gives it a lot of character. Those are the things that we're able to do now. There's a first read, which is Lara's main silhouette. We want that secondary read. We want to get in there really tight and be able to see all those little tiny things that make her very, very unique. It's the imperfections. Even some scars from the last game have been transported over to the new model. We want to show character and progression of time and show that she's gone through some things to get here. We first started with scans, uh, and we used that data to get make sure the proportions were right, that fold logic was right under the clothes, and then we added our artistic touch to it, and we added a whole lot of details to it, so we can actually look at her skin, we'll see the pores, you, you look at the clothes, you see all the micro details on the, on the clothes, so we added a lot to that. Uh, to make her come to life. Whenever she gets into a fight, she can get dirty or she can get bloody. When she's out in the snow, she'll actually accumulate snow on her clothes. So she fits into every environment that she's in. We're able to actually capture the nuances of facial movement and uh, she really comes to life. And it is so much better than the bone-driven system that we used in the past. And this all adds to the realism of her acting. At Crystal, we look at every granular detail, from her anatomy, to her garments, to her motion, in order to deliver a believable and lifelike Lara Croft. These goals become a reality as we see Lara navigate the mysterious catacombs of the Prophet's tomb. 